Joe's Sports Talk, and I'm now joined by new head football coach here at Spain Park High School, Coach Tim Bacakis. And uh, Coach, uh, first of all, congratulations to you on this opportunity now to come over here to Spain Park. I know it was a tough decision to make the move to come from J.O. where you had you know been there for a while, had built up a great program over there. But I mean, the opportunity to come and be a part of a place like Spain Park that you know, has obviously won state championships and been right there at the top before. It had to be just something that you really couldn't pass up to come over here and be a you know, part of this. It was. Um, and I don't think people realize how hard it was to actually leave, you know, to pull the trigger and actually walk away. Um, because there's just, you know, for nine years, we, we, we did some things together as a community that, you know, people just didn't really expect to happen. You know, and you don't, you don't expect that many All-Americans to come out of there. You don't expect, you know, undefeated seasons. You don't, people just didn't expect it. You know, and our kids did it, and that that meant a lot to me and my family. So it was just hard to leave, uh, but at the same time, you know, there's a, there's a, you know, every God has a way of opening doors, and I knew it was time. Um, you know, I got they contacted me, and, and it wasn't like I was out looking for looking for jobs. Uh, they contacted me just to kind of pique my interest, and after we spoke about it, and at the time, the principal, uh, Coach Jim Grosso, Larry Jim Grosso, and Athletic Director uh, Patrick Kellogg and I met with uh, Kellogg and we talked and I started doing some, I guess, my own uh, looking into it, you know, and uh, and it, it was a really good situation. And, you know, it, it's not a situation where, um, you know, I get a lot of my guys calling, my, my friends, coaching buddies that have been in it with me for a while. They, they're they proud of me, but they're saying, you know, you deserved it. You know, you, you've you earned it. You this. You, and, I, and I, you know, I thank them, but at the same time, I don't, I'm not wired like that. I don't feel like I deserve something. I don't think I don't feel like I've earned it. Uh, I just feel like I've been blessed with it. There's this is just a different way to look at it because there's a lot of coaches in the state who do a really good job. You know, they might be at a small school, a country school, or just county school. City. There's a lot of guys out there that do really good stuff, and um, I just feel like I'm lucky and I've been blessed to be here. But I say it's a really good place to be. Did the you know opportunity to come be a part of the best region in the whole entire state uh, was that something that also really kind of piqued your interest when looking at this well you know we're all competitors you know and it's not something that you shy away from I'm, I'm, I'm not the type to shy away from that you know I, I embrace it um, it's gonna be fun every Friday night you're gonna have a packed student section on both sides you're gonna have kids in uh, body paint and you know it's, it, that's that's what you want I mean I, it's, it's the it's the best region and, you know, maybe the southeast, maybe the country. I don't. It's just one of the best from top to bottom. It's it's going to be legit football every Friday night. You're going against really good coaching staffs. You're going against really good players. You're going against really good programs, communities. I mean, it's it's big boy football, you know. And um, we're going to try to get in there and, and swing. What was really kind of your first step that you felt like you needed to take when coming over here to Spain Park to get this program the way that you kind of want to see it? Well, you know, we tell our kids that that. To be a heavyweight, you have to train like one. And, you know, if you go in a boxing match with your hands behind your back, you're probably going to lose. If you go in a boxing match with one arm, you're going to lose. You know, if, if the punches you swing, they don't hurt, you're probably going to lose. So the biggest thing we focus on is the weight room. And, and, and I've, I, I've never outsourced the weight room. I'm in the middle of the weight room. Like I'm, and I tell our coaches, y'all want to come on in? Come on. But, like, I'm, I'm in it. You know, I'm, I'm there. Um, I feel like that's the biggest, that's the low hanging fruit. That's, that's where you can, you can grasp that. Like you can give your chance, kids a chance to compete by getting them stronger. And, um, when I first got here, we had like nine or 10 kids power clean to 25. And, uh, right now we're at 35 and we're maxing next week. And we're probably, we're, we're going to be over 40. And I said, I said, we're going to be at 50 by the time the season started. Just, everybody's kind of looked at me, but, uh, you know, we're going to be over 40 by next week. And, I think that's the that's the that's the the quickest way to get confident. That's the quickest way to feel like you know I can I can compete. I'm stronger, uh, you know I'm I'm tougher. Um, but we we we, t we preach it all the time. You know heavyweights, the best ones have chins. All of them can swing. They all have that one punch they like, the uppercut, the hook, whatever. whatever. But the best ones are the ones that have chins. And the way we train. Uh, it creates a, high, a hard iron chin. So, you know, that it's not, that don't mean it's going to be easy. You know, this region is it's just brutal, but it at least gives us a chance. When we get off the bus, we're not going to be scared. You know, whether we make the plays and 
whether the coaches we call the right plays or whatever, I don't know. Uh, we're not going to be scared. When you look at this region, uh, a lot of newness over the last two years. You know, Tyler Crane getting over there at Oak Mountain. You got a new coach at Vestavia now, a new coach at Chelsea. You moving over here. Hoover, obviously, with a new coach as well. How does that kind of change the dynamic of the region, too, where, you, you know, you're entering into a region, but these coaches haven't been at their places just like you haven't been here? Well, I think, you know, when you talk about this region, obviously, you know, Thompson's the, the, the cream of the crop. I mean, it's obvious what they're doing over there and the players they got and the way they coach them, that, that's – that's they're, you know, they're, they're rolling ball of butcher knives. Like they're, they got it going. Uh, trustful. Coach Floyd does a great job over there, you know. So I think everybody else is just going to try to find their pecking order. You know, it's kind of like a reshuffling. Like who's going to come out? Who's going to be that next group to challenge those other two? Like who, who's going to find their, their, their place? You know, so uh, it's going to be fun. You know, like, I, like you mentioned Coach Crane, you mentioned Robert Evans. I mean, those guys, they're very good coaches. And, they're all gonna have good players. They're all gonna have good schemes. You're not gonna out scheme anybody in this region. You're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna trick somebody into getting the first down. Like, you're gonna have to earn it, and uh, that's the way we train. So, we'll see. I mean, we, we feel like we, we got a chance to compete, you know, and we can get out there and start swinging, and, and hopefully, you know, be able to take the ones they swing on us. Obviously, as a coach, you take it one game at a time. You don't look ahead to stuff. But, obviously, Hoover-Spain Park, a good rivalry. Is that a game that you are excited about getting to be a part of and, and getting to, you know, see what your team can go and do against a, a team that has the history they have? I mean, look, they're, we're playing them at the Met. And I've coached at the Legion Field. I've coached uh, – I've been a part of the game, the Jordan-Hare game, the, um, uh, the finals, Super 7. I've never got a chance to be at the Met. You know, so that's going to be fun. Uh, that's our first region game at Hoover. So, you know, I know it means a lot to these kids, and I know it means a lot to these uh, cheerleaders in the community and uh, both sides. You know, so, yeah, that's going to be fun. I mean, I, and I know Coach Walters going to have their kids prepared, and so it's going to be a lot on the line. It's, you know, it's, it's early in the season. It's still new. It's still – everybody's still got a chance to make the playoff, you know, and right out of the gate we're going to Hoover. So, um, you know, it's going to be fun. It's not like we – it's not a one-game season. You know, whether we win it, we hadn't – arrived and if we lose it's not over but you know obviously it, it i'd be a fool to sit there and say again don't mean more it does it does and and i embrace that i'm not but you know it is what it is i went to homewood so that best day game meant more you know and mm -hmm. the, the 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 rivalries the mountain brook game meant more back then so i mean like there are rivalries there and obviously spain park and hoover one of them and um you know we're gonna get over there and start swinging when we get off the bus what was maybe the first thing that really stood out to you about this team that you have when you saw them for the first They time. want to win. These kids want to win. And I, that first team meeting I had, I told the seniors, you know, I I have a lot of respect for these seniors um, because they stay. This day and age when things don't go good, kids on college level, high school level, level, they're looking around, all right, well, this isn't good here. Let me see. That looks good. Let me go play there. And these kids stay. And, and – I told them the very first team meeting we had, this senior class deserves everything we can give them uh, to get them prepared for their senior year and have a good season. They deserve, we're going to pour into them as much as we can. Now, we are going to get in the little leagues. We are going to get in the middle schools. You know, we're going to build for the future. But at the same time, these seniors deserve that from us. Uh, and I got a lot of respect for them. You know, I, I told them that before. Even Madam, I didn't know their names. I have a lot of respect for those kids because they're still here. So the vibe here is they wanted to win. Uh, they wanted to do it together. They were, you know, there was always just a lot of bickering about who's going where, what school's going to try to get this one, and and that all it's all stopped, and um, and it's gonna stop. It's not going to happen here. Um, I've made sure that everybody knows if you come to Jo the last nine years and try to get our kids, it's going to be a problem. And I'm telling you that. Uh, I've been called a snitch, and I kind of laugh at it because. A snitch throws a rock and he hides his hand. A man tells you what he's going to do. He does it. And after he does it, he calls you and tells you he did it. Now, you can call it a snitch if you want to. So that's the vibe that we're creating here. We want these kids to think, there's no way I'm leaving here. These seniors, they stay. You know, so I'm using the seniors as an example of staying through adversity. So now we're trying to do all we can to let these seniors go out on top, you know, have a really good season, and let them be the reason the foundation is laid. Uh, for the years years to come. 
Could you, uh, when you walked in here, you know, obviously football hasn't been winning as much as they would like to, but, I mean, you got boys basketball's been in the Final Four, girls won it a couple years ago, volleyball won it, baseball has a history of winning. Does that help when you come to a place where, I mean, you know, they feel like that they can win in all these other sports and that there is a winning mindset that is already here at Spain Park? So I did some research when I got here. There's like maybe five or six teams in now, the now 7A region uh, uh, class. There are five or six teams who have been to the finals or the semis as many times as Spain Park. Spain Park, the school opened in 02. They've gotten beat in the, in the finals twice. They've gone to the semis two other times. So, like, it's it's here. They it, It's been shown that Spain Park can get there. Um, there's coaches on this staff that do a great job that were here when they made those runs. So, it can happen here. You know, I think, the, um, in my opinion, the secret, not the secret, but the, the formula at Spain Park is to play a really good defense, is to be very physical, be very strong. The years they won it, or the years they went in the finals, one year they gave up. 10 points a game. The other year they gave up 15 points a game. So the, the formula at Spain Park is to play really good defense. And um, that's kind of how we're, that's kind of how I was born and raised. You know, if you've got a bunch of dogs, you better put them on defense. You know, unless it's just that one offensive kid that he's just a receiver. He's just a tailback. But if you got, you know, you better be able to stop people. And I think that's the, uh, that's the formula here. At least I hope it is. About to get the pads on and get the, preseason kind of started and what are you going to be really looking for most when that gets going? I want to see how, how our kids handle adversity. We just met with the captains and we just talked about that moving into next week. Um, they're more confident. They're stronger. They're heavier. They've been training. They got a little edge about them. You know, all the things that I tell them all the time that big time programs, successful programs, even men as a man, you leave clues behind on who you are and what you do. You leave little clues behind. I'm anxious to see if we can transfer all the improvements we made off the field to get get some real hot adversity, how we handle it. Because we are more confident. Kids are playing with an edge. They know they've trained. They know they're prepared physically. But what do you do when <clears throat> Chris Vizina from Broward <clears throat> puts up two touchdowns in the first quarter? Bam, you're down 14 nothing at Broward. What do you do? So I want to see how our kids handle real adversity. I think that's the, that's the last step to turn the corner of a kind of losing mentality to realize we can do this. When you get adverse, you fight through it, you come out on the other side. So that's what I want to say. I want to see our kids fight and get hit, take punches, and keep swinging. How important do you feel, you know, we mentioned the Hoover game being first. You just talked about Briarwood. How important is a good start to this year for this team? And, you know, you talk about confidence. I mean, building even more confidence with that. I mean, it's huge. And anytime, you know, anytime something's new, you know, they might feel confident, but they're still going to be looking around like, oh, is this really going to work? That's just, that's just nat that's nat natural. That's nature. Um, so, you know, we start off at home against Calera, and they've got a lot of good athletes. Coach Hamlin does a really good job with those kids. So they're going to be coming over here. Uh, there'll be a lot of excitement that night, hopefully in our new Jumbotron, our new Chrome helmets, just a lot of excitement. Um, but we've got to transfer that excitement and the preparation to on the field. And, uh, you know, we, if we get – be on the play, come right back. If you drop a pass, come right back. So we got to get that the the mentality of as soon as something bad happens, ten things bad don't happen after that. And that's kind of been the the vibe uh, from the kids' perspective. Is if one or two things bad happen, it turned into ten things bad. So we got to let one or two bad things happen and then fight back. So we'll see. We got to start off start off strong. But um, I know Kalir is going to come in here prepared, and they're going. They're going to get after us, and they got some good players. Coach, really appreciate you taking time to sit down with me. Congratulations again on you know being here at Spain Park, and really, really looking forward to seeing how year one goes here. Well, thank you. Me too, man. Thank you. Thanks, sir.